hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel so guys in today's video we are going to build a chatbot and image captioner and we will integrate this chatbot and image captioner with the web application to build the web application we will use streamlet and uh, to build chatbot and image captioner we will be use the google gemini api in order to build the web application we need to have an environment and i already have created the conda environment so let's activate this to activate the conda environment we have to put conda t bait and path of the environment so as you can see we are inside this conda environment so now let's install some necessary libraries and for that we will uh, first create one requirement.txt file and import the library so first library is google generative ai the version of this library is 0.3.2 and the second library is streamlet because we are going to build the web application and the third library is python.env and the version of this library is 1.0.1 so basically this library help us to work and store the apis right and the fourth library is streamlet option menu and this library uh, will help us to add more functionalities to the web application and the third library is below because we will also building the image captioner to work with images we need a library so that's why we have also installing the pillow library and the version of this library is 10.2.0 so these are the libraries let's save this file and install it to install we just need to pass pip install hyphen r and run this command the requirement of all our library is satisfied so so now we are good to go with our web application code for that we will be creating one app.py file and inside this file we will write all the code for our web application but before that we need uh, the google gemini api in order to get the google gemini api just open your browser and type google ai studio and you can see this google ai studio quick start just click on it left side you can see this option get an api key just click on it and from there just click get an api key and you will navigate to another window and there you have an option get api key and just click on create new api after creating new API, just copy this API key and navigate to the VS Code Studio and create one .env file and open this env file and create one variable called api key in my case and pass copied api key right there and save this file right after saving this file we can get the api from this file so to access the api key from this file uh, we have installed this library python-env right so by using this library we can access the api key from this .env file so now we are good to go with our app.py file so now let's go to the app.py file and write the code for the web application okay now let's import some important libraries that we will be using first library is streamlet and the second library we will be importing the os uh, in third library we are importing in the third library we are importing the load.env file from the .env library by using this we will load the environment variable and we will get the access of our api from the env file right and in third library we are importing the uh, option menu from the streamlet option menu library and the third library is a pil and from there we are importing the image to work with the images and the third library is generative ai we are importing this library as gen ai so now let's load the environment variable and set up our api key so for that we so first we will call this load.env function that we have importing the from the dot env library and by using this os dot get env we will call our api and and here you have to pass the name of your variable in which you have stored the api in dot env file so so now this is our api key so this api key we will pass to the gemini and we will use this api key to load our all the gemini models right so now let's set up an api key so now let's pass this api key to the gen ai 
and for that we will be using generate.config and in api key we will pass this google generative api key after that we will load one function uh, called Gemini Pro and in this model we will put the Gemini Pro model so you can see the Gemini dot generative model and importing the Gemini Pro model right so this model will be saved in this model variable and return this model so whenever we call this Gemini Pro function it will uh, return the model and this Gemini Pro model will be used to build the chatbot and uh, now let's import the Gemini provision model that will help us and that will help us to generate the caption of the image so for that we uh, created one more function called gemini vision so gemini vision we have again importing the gemini provision from the gen ai so again this will uh, store in model model variable this function will return us the model so again whenever we call this uh, gemini vision function it will return the gemini vision model in order to get the a response from this gemini provision model let's create one more function for that we have created this gemini vision response and this function will take three inputs model prompt and the image and we will pass this prompt and image to the model and in order to generate the caption from the image we will call this model dot generate content function and then this uh, generated content will be stored in this response variable and that it and at the last we will extract the text from this response and whenever we call this uh, gemini vision response function it will return the uh, generated response from the image or we can say that it will return the caption of the image right so now we have uh, set up and download all the models that we are going to use for our web application so next we are going to set up the page title and the icon of the web application home page so let's call set up this page title so for that we have used this st because we have imported the stream that as st and st dot set page configuration the page title will be the chat with gemini and the page icon will be the mind and uh, the layout will be the center and the initial sidebar state will be the expanded now let's add the sidebar to the uh, to the home page where we will um, where we will put two functions first is the chatbot and the second is the image captioner so for that we will be setting up the sidebar with st dot sidebar and uh, we will create this variable called user feed and the from the option menu we the option menu we have imported from the library called stream that option menu and here we uh, creating two options first is the chatbot and second is the image captioning and the menu icon will be the robot and the second the icon for the chatbot will be the chat dot fields right and the message icon like like the message icon right for the image captioning we will be the using the image icon right so the ind uh, default index will be the zero and this is for the streamlet home page and uh, the sidebar of the applications now let's run it and test it so for that we will be using in streamlet run app dot fever it will automatically open the application and you can also uh, copy this url and open it into any browser right so but and you can see this is the home page and we have added the sidebar right in a sidebar we add two options first is the chatbot second is the image caption so now let's write the code for the chatbot home page and then we will write the code for image captioning right so let's stop this and to stop we will press Control plus C and it will stop the application right now let's create one function this function will help the model to uh, to communicate between the streamlet and the google packages so and this function called uh, role for the streamlet and it this function will take the user role input and if the user role is equal to the model then it, it will return the assistant we just renaming it and it, otherwise it will return the user role as it is right so this is a simple function that will be uh, communication between the streamlet and the google packages right so after that uh, now let's write the code for the chatbot for the chatbot we will use the if statement if user picked is equal to is equal to the chatbot right 
and because we have called this user pick in the sidebar now you can see if the user pick this chatbot then what will happen it will first load the Gemini model because we have loaded the Gemini Pro model for the text generation in this function right there right so it will first load the model then create a new chat history and uh, this chat is history will basically start the uh, chat by using the model and uh, then uh, we have set the title for the home page of the of the chatbot right and uh, then we will display the history uh, in history we will display the prompt and the generated response for that we will be extracting the message from the chat history dot history and then display this chat history as a markdown format right and uh, then we need uh, the input from the user for that we will be using the st.chat input will be stored in a user input we will send this user input to the model and for that we will be using dot send message because we have loaded this model in a chat history so that's why we have started the chat history dot send message to the user input and after that we will be uh, return the response and the input or we can say the prompt of the from the user as a markdown because we have set st dot markdown response dot text and the generated response will be stored in this in response variable and then we will extract the text from the response right okay as we have used the if uh, statement for the chatbot and if user pick the chatbot then the will be run and now we have to do the same thing if user pick the image captioning then what will you have for that we have to write the another code so if user pick the image captioning so we need to load the gemini vision model right then we set the title of the page then we will add two functions the first one is image upload function uh, this function will help the user to upload the image and the format of these images should be in dot jpg dot png or dot jpeg all right and uh, then and but we will add one more option where user can put the prompt uh, and related to the image right so now let's if user select the generate caption button because we have to add this button as well right so then what will happen it will first load the image right the image that the user will pass right there and uh, then we will add two columns left column and right column and in left column we will uh, display the image right and on a right column we will display the response and that is generated by the model on a image so so here how we get get the response uh, for that we will be using this function that we have created above uh, Gemini vision response because this function will return the generated text on a image and this function will take three inputs model prompt and image so the model that we have loaded right there it will take this model and the user prompt pass right there and the image that we have loaded right there okay and then uh, it will store the response in caption response and we will display this on our right column right so this is for our app now it's time to test the web application so for that we need to run it so for that we will be use streamlit run app dot py so hit the button and wait okay let's pass some prompt to the model and uh, test our chatbot so first let's say hi so wait for the response so you can see it will responding like like a chat gpt so let's send one more prompt and ask to the model to explain us what is llms right and as you can see uh, the model is responding like a chat gpt and uh, you can ask anything to the model right there so now test the image captioning so here we have two functions first is to upload the image and second pass the prompt to the model related to the image so let first upload the image so i am going to ask to the model to write the blog post related to the image
blogs now we have asked to the model to write the blog post so as you can see first it will resize the image that is passed uh, this application and it will display this image on a left side and on a right side it will generating the blog post related to the image right so this is our web application uh, you can add more functionality like uh, text embeddings and many things uh, you can add on a left side and uh, to utilize the power of this Gemini api so that's it guys and uh, this is for the today's video if you like this video please share and subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon and i will see you in the next video thank you